So long as I spoke of that. I want to show you guys the little OOTD for look at how big this freaking package is, girl. That one. You know, period. <laughs> I don't So we're gonna get into a Sephora haul first. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is sponsored by Timu, so thank you so much Timu for sponsoring this portion of the video. They did send me over a few of their pieces and I cannot wait to show you guys. The first item that I wanted to show you is this really cute pink purse that I picked out. You'll see the vision why I picked this out in a second, but I absolutely love this. It gives me Barbie vibes, Bratz vibes, and it is really, really good quality as well. I already unboxed everything just to save on time, but take this out oh i didn't even know it came with the strap oh my gosh good this is how big it looks inside and it has a little zipper in there as well so i'm so glad that it came with a different strap because my whole idea for this purse to wear this it literally was to go like a crossbody so it comes with a longer strap and a cute little bitty silver detailing right here and i guess you can just put that along the purse like that oh my gosh that is so cute Ah, I cannot wait to wear this. And also, y'all know, I'm trying to um, get up on my collection of purses and shoes. I would like to have a purse in every single color just because you just never know. It'll be random times where I'm like, oh my God, like I need a pink purse and I don't got a pink purse. So I decided to get this and I have an outfit in mind for that as well. And for new users, if you never got on Timu before, never ordered anything, you can sign up and you can actually get this purse for $1 with, with my, my QR code and my coupons on the screen and link down below in the description box. So definitely don't miss out on this for a dollar. Um, yeah i'm super excited i definitely wanted this to be a crossbody and then i also got this cute little bitty cherry um accessory so y'all know the little cherries is going viral right now when i seen it i was like oh my gosh i gotta get it so obviously i wouldn't pair it with this purse y'all know i do got the coach tabby so i could probably put it on the coach tabby but just wanted to show you guys how it looks on an actual purse i think this will be so cute obviously like i said I'm not going to pair with this because it's gold and silver, but it looks really, really nice. And it's actually a pretty good size. And I think it wasn't over like two or three dollars. So Timu really has some really, really nice finds. And this was super cute. And it's like a really good quality. And it's very sturdy. So first few pieces I wanted to show you guys since summer is kind of coming to an end. Um, it's about to be fall in the next, what, few weeks. This is an all brown long sleeve dress super cute i feel like it's the perfect um outfit to wear transitioning from um summer to fall y'all know brown is my vibe it's my color it's not like a turtleneck or anything but it is long sleeve and it goes all the way down to my ankles i really really like it i think i got it in a size small um it fits pretty nice it is a little snug on the arms but other than that i like it and then i basically got the same thing in a pink color as well the pink does feel a little bit more loose i'm not sure what that's about out. um the brown one does feel a lot tighter so the pink one i'm not sure it is definitely more loose it's still the same size um and length and everything but i will say the pink one is a bit more comfortable but i do like the look of the brown one better. Is this leopard or cheetah hmm. <laughs> i don't know but i got this cute little dress um i like that it definitely goes all the way up it's like it shows a little bit of back but not too much to where you can still wear like some type of strapless bra to where you wouldn't be able to see it so i do like that i love the little necktie that is adjustable um it's just really really soft stretchy um it's not too long i don't i don't think it goes all the way down to my ankles so I'm not sure if it'll be tall girl friendly but that depends on you if you want your dresses to go all the way down to your ankles or not but i really did like this one i feel like i could wear this to a cute little date night um like i said i do have a cruise coming up so we'll see when i get my outfits together may end up wearing this on the cruise a few pieces i wanted to show you guys are more so for the fall and winter time coming up so i saw this cute freaking like crew neck pullover i thought it was so cute i was looking at the girlies in the reviews and they wore it so cute so my idea for this that's why i got the pink purse i wanted to be a crossbody since the guy here is literally pink his dreads um and i wanted to wear like maybe like some um cute leather pants like all black leather pants i don't know i just had a really really cute look inspired 
by this so this is really really soft um i think i got it in a size small it's not too oversized but you know it's oversized enough to really give that look so that's why i love fall because i just love the oversized stuff i love feeling really nice and i tried it on and it doesn't feel itchy you know some stuff from these companies they can feel real itchy but i absolutely love this and i cannot wait to put a fit together in this also the next one is this cute cardigan y'all know i'm here for the browns i got this one in a size small and obviously cardigans i usually get my actual size on cardigans or a size um under because cardigans are usually oversized so i decided to go ahead and go with a small it does have two real pockets on the side and i mean it's just a really cute cardigan i'll probably wear this for thanksgiving or something last little fall outfit is this cute little two-piece it comes with pants you can tie it up to adjust to your waist and these i will say depending on how tall you are i'm about five three they go to my ankles but they don't go past my ankles so if you're shorter than me these would be like perfect for you but if you are taller than me not gonna lie you're gonna be flooding high waters whatever y'all say <laughs> near y'all but i like it it's comfy i feel like i could just wear this lounging around the house or you know going to just run a few little errands during the fall time but it's a really good thick but breathable material and then here's the top <clears throat> the top is a crop top so i'll probably wear it with some little like tight shirt that i got on right here because i don't know during the winter time i don't really want anything cropped you just have to layer under but yeah i thought this was really cute last few items that i wanted to show you guys is lounge around outfits so this one came with shorts and a shirt it's kind of like a um skims dupe if you will and it came with a gray and a black set this was like all one um package together like one order so it's basically two for the price of one and then the last little set i got is this cute little shirt it kind of got a little not really a v-neck but like a u-neck going on and then these pants i don't really care for the pants not gonna lie they just feel like i don't know not as good quality they're just really flimsy no structure no shape to them so if you don't already have like a shape or anything girl these not gonna do nothing for you <laughs> so i don't really care for these but the top is cute i'll probably just wear the top with something else but other than that i feel like this is my least favorite item out of everything but everything else i would definitely give you know a 8 out of 10 and above so absolutely love everything like i said don't forget to check down below in the description box for all of my codes thank you so much Timu, for sponsoring this portion of the video but your love's too original You were anything but Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel Today, <laughs> Today's video is starting off here Me and Bay are at brunch We are at the Buttered the Biscuit, butter biscuit. Um, We just put in our order for mimosas And we just, oh thank you As soon as I spoke about it <laughs> Yeah, alright Alright man, so for the starter, I, let me try, I want to try a pig in a bit. And then for my meal, man. Starter. I want the biscuit feast, okay. scrambled eggs. Okay. Is anything in the potatoes? Or no. do this? Okay, good. Um, And I want bacon. For your biscuit, kind of like butter or jam. Like apple butter, honey butter, honey butter, orange. Honey butter. Honey butter. You said bacon and scrambled eggs. Uh huh. Alright. Anything else for us, my good people? Okay, so like I was saying, we are at the buttered biscuit. Um, just got my mimosa, and is yours a mimosa too? You got a drink. No, it's like a drink. Like he got like an old, 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 old fashioned espresso something, is what he got. And uh, yeah, we're on, if you're local, we're at um, the promenade. This used to be, what did this used to be? It's right here by local line. I put it in my other vlog when we first got here. But yeah, my most is good. We got some water. Their cups are branded. We love that. Super cute. I do need some more silverware though because yeah, mine don't look that good. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to introduce the vlog so y'all can know. It's strong, like he said. Yeah. <laughs> just tastes like coffee too. Ugh. I don't like coffee. Just let's introduce the vlog. Let y'all know what we're doing when y'all see all this B-roll going on here. Um, I'll show y'all my little outfit of the day. I didn't record anything when I was at home. Hopefully y'all can hear me. But I got a little shade, my little jewelry and stuff, and then I'll show y'all the whole outfit. I don't have a gold necklace, which I'm so sad about. I do really, really need a gold necklace. <laughs> because I just feel so plain right here. But yeah, I'm gonna do some B-roll of the food and stuff like that. And 
food or not to go back to my house or actually can we just like go look around at Sephora? Yeah. I added some stuff in my cart, so I kinda wanna go like test it out and see what I really want. He gave me a $75 gift card, y'all know, for my birthday, so I do have that. And then I'm going to cash in my fetch points to get an extra $50 gift card. So, you know, that would be a lot of free stuff. So I do want to go test out the product to see my card. So we'll do that after. Um, and yeah, I'll update y'all later. For sure, we got there at 11.53, it's 101. We're on our way to Sephora so I can go, like I told y'all, look at my shopping cart and make sure I get the right shades of stuff that I want so I can just order it online, probably for like in-store pickup or something. Um, or I may, you know, dip one, dab one, buy a little bit today with my little gift card bay got me. I rate the place a good nine, 9.5 out of 10. Bay rated it a seven. Or a six, a nice seven. <laughs> seven out of ten. But right here, babe, turn right here, turn right here. I know. He said seven and a half, but he got the wrong thing. Like his meal, his waffle. I think I showed y'all. It's it's like those breakfast waffles that you get at like the, the hotel. Bed. Yeah, okay. like not even a good hotel. Quality Inn ass waffle, bro. Like <laughs> Holiday Inn, something Holiday like that. Inn. And yeah, it just went hit. But mine was really really good. He should have stuck with his first thought and got that one. Okay, spot right here. Is that a spot or no? It's two spots. So yeah, it was good. Um, not that one though. Here goes Sephora. Let to go in. What's today? Why it's so busy? Today what's today? Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. Today only Thursday. Why? Why are there so many people out? You know, Oh yeah, the game is in Little Rock. Yeah, I don't, is it basketball or football? <laughs> football? Football. Okay. I'm just making sure that it's football season now. You know, period. <laughs> I don't know if Sephora let us record or not, so I'm probably just gonna record on my phone like little bitty clips, um, just so they don't be like, you can't record in here. <laughs> That one. This one. Mm -hmm. What's that? The Chanel. Which one is that one? Did you let me smell the Chanel? Yeah. This one. It smells different now. Maybe because it's uh, uh, the notes coming out like it settled in. All right, so I'm back home now. I want to show you guys a little OOTD for today. I'm wearing my coach bag that they had got me. These pants are actually from Shein. They're like the wide leg um, boyfriend mom jeans, if you will. Um, two rips in them. These are not high waisted at all. It's literally like right at your hip. So I do like that. It's just Shein. I really like Shein pants. Um, they fit really, really well around the waist. It's just, I feel like I should have sized up. They're supposed to be baggy. So like, I mean, it's still give you a little bit of, you know, poke <laughs> but definitely to have a little bit more space in this area i probably would have sized up maybe just one size because these are like there's no stretch in these they're literally your size is your size so and then i'm wearing my little chanel slides i told y'all these sometime last year um, my chanel slides from the fence that they had sent me just i like to wear these because it had gold in it and black um i don't have the coach bag they got the um 
gold detailing on it, but I feel like that would have been really, really cute. And then I'm just wearing these shades from Amazon. It came in a four pack. I thought that'd be cute to pair with it. Popped on a few rings. I got gold going on. And then I got another little bracelet on my other side. So I thought this would be a real cute, you know, brunch fit going out. You know, just doing a little shopping. I like. So, yeah, I know I was talking about how I needed some more um, basics. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all know I was talking about I needed some more basics. Um, this shirt is also from Old Navy. Um, I think it was like four or five dollars, so a really, really good deal. Um, I'm gonna go back to Old Navy. Walmart actually has some really, really affordable, just basic tops that's like five and three dollars. So I'm probably gonna go try some of those on and stock up on that. Not sure if you girlies have seen on TikTok, they were talking about the two piece sets that's like a dupe for Lululemon. Um, the jacket and the pants so i was gonna go try some of those on love a good two-piece set baby and then i was gonna go back to old navy and on amazon to just pick up a few basics um so yeah it's 150 i don't know if i told y'all that i have a brazilian wax today i go at 3 30. um my boyfriend is gonna be gone for a couple hours to go um hang with his friends and stuff for the um football game today i forgot who he even said played i can't even remember but yeah it's 151 i do have a package i have a few packages that i that we need to open up together i'm gonna go ahead and do my little sephora haul for y'all and then i'm just gonna chill out until i gotta go get my wax because i'm gonna go ahead and shower and stuff before because i don't want to wear these tight pants um i like to wear something like a dress some shorts, something real, you know, flowy. And these pants are a little tight. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, hop in the shower again a little bit and then head out to do that. Right, we're gonna we do a quick little haul of three different things. <laughs> Might as well, since we're kind of getting into like makeup and body care and stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I got picked up from Sephora. Bay had picked up a um, new cologne. He got the, uh, what is it called? The one that looked like a little spaceman. Um, oh, I don't know if I, if y'all follow me on Instagram, you already saw. Um, took down my braids and I also um, just silk pressed my hair, I guess. Flat ironed it. Um, looks real nice. It's been like this for about four, three or four days. So I feel like it's holding up really, really well. So we're gonna get into a Sephora haul first. What I got from Sephora. This was free if you spend over $75. It is a Little Words project from Sephora. I think it's just a bracelet is what she explained it. And you um you can like make your own or it's already made and you just put it on. Next thing I got was my birthday gift. Y'all know Team Leo Baby, my birthday was August 1st. So I got the Youth to the People little birthday gift. It says happy birthday up top. It comes with a facial cleanser, moisturizer, and something else so this was in my shopping cart um i think i told y'all that i already had some stuff in my sephora um i think i told y'all that i already had some stuff in my sephora cart and i just wanted to go in there and kind of test everything out before actually buying it so this is a pretty hefty amount of product <laughs> so i'm super excited to try this cleanser the lady at the front says she absolutely love it she needs to re-up on it um i love that it's glass um definitely gotta be careful with that though so it's the kale plus green tea spinach vitamins coming down below if you guys tried that and your thoughts about it and then it also comes with a superfood air whip moisturizer cream oh my gosh i cannot mm, it smells real natural it don't really have any smell to it I cannot wait to use this girl and then the other little thing it came with this is like a little sample um oh it's a mask so yeah it's just a sample of the mask super excited to try this out I honestly really just wanted it for the facial cleanser but girl don't get me wrong we love a good moisturizer right cannot wait to try that comment down below if you guys tried that before next thing I got was this Sephora lip gloss I believe this is the lip plumper <laughs> I got it in um, like just the universal pink color. I was on TikTok trying to find like, trying to find signature lip combos, like a cute little nude everyday lip. And I've really been loving this lip gloss. I've used this before, but my best friend recently gave me this for my birthday for, um, for my birthday from Ulta. It's just the Maybelline New York. Um, 
lip gloss in that cute pink color as you can see it's already almost gone i've probably used this a good maybe 10 times and i feel like yeah it's cute and it's a really good lip gloss but you don't really get that many uses out of it and i feel like the product is just gone way too quickly so i wanted to get another lip gloss that basically kind of mimic that color and this one i saw a girl on tiktok use it for one of her lip combos um so i'm really excited to try this and she also said this one is a lip plumper like the Too Faced um lip plumper but basically this one does not burn your lips like that Too Faced one girl burns your lips so i think i'm gonna like this applicator it's not really a smell but yeah i cannot wait to try this i'm not gonna put it on now obviously because i already got some lip gloss but i used to not be the girly that liked pink lip gloss because i don't know i just feel like it didn't look good on me next thing that i got is the lip liner from sephora this one was raved about a lot it's a cute dark brown lip liner it's the sephora brand in the i think it's yeah molasses so got that just a cute brown lip liner and then the other thing that i got i think i was telling y'all that i was watching chelsea janae vlog she was um talking about this kosas um tinted eyebrow gel and i'm always like oh my gosh her eyebrows look so good when she does her makeup like how does she basically i would like for her to show me how she did her eyebrows because you know some people they'll use eyebrow pencils dip brow pomade things like that and she was using this brand and literally all you do it's literally like a mascara for your brows and all you do is just push it up and she said all she does is just put on a little bit of concealer to clean them up and that's it so i cannot wait to try this i'll probably try this out tomorrow and the last thing that i got from sephora is i think you pronounce it say is that how you pronounce this brand s-a-i-e i got a concealer in the shade 15 hopefully this works out for me i wanted a shade that was not too bright because i do use the Too Faced born this way concealer and that one is really really light for my skin tone um like a really really bright under eye so i wanted something that was a little bit closer to my skin tone for a concealer so i feel like this one will be pretty okay i'm gonna try it out if it doesn't work out then i'll probably you know return it and try to find a different one and yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and like do my makeup tomorrow and use these new products and see how i like everything and to test them out because i am going to get another 50 dollars gift card so all of this stuff was basically free i used my gift card only paid ten dollars and y'all know i use my fetch rewards so i'm going to use fifty dollars from my fetch rewards to get another gift card for sephora and get another free fifty dollars since so, yeah. we're talking about makeup i thought it'd be a good time to show y'all what i got in my ipsy subscription i literally have not i logged into my ipsy um subscription service and i have not gotten an ipsy package since 2021 <laughs> and what made me get it was because i'm like when i watch different videos and stuff like that and the girlies are talking about you know different makeup products and things like that i don't really like to go out and waste money like if it's something that i really just want to try i'll go try it but i'm not a really huge product person either like when something new come out i'm not the first girly to try to run and go get it and test it out like that's just not me um and i'm usually put onto things a lot later anyway after the fact so i decided to get ipsy again because well, actually, to be honest, what made me get it was because I don't have any more mascara. And Ipsy used to give me a lot of good mascaras, and I really did never used to wear mascara, but I got a really, really good one. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up for you guys. It's my boyfriend. <laughs> Package for you guys. I can't really remember exactly. I looked already. Sometimes I like to be surprised, but... I did go ahead and look and see what I was getting sent, but I kind of forgot at this point because I looked about two weeks ago. And like I said, I've just been having all these packages just laying around. So I also like it because you get these cute little bitty baggies and I like to reuse these bags for a whole lot of things, girl. Mostly feminine project, mostly feminine products or when I'm going to travel. So I got a nourishing probiotic gel cream. What is this? Um, K-O-R-R-E-S, Cores brand. I'm not really sure if you guys know about this. You can comment down below. Um, it's a gel cream. What is this used for, girl? Apply to the face and neck, avoiding the eye. Do not use, okay, so maybe it's just like a moisturizer, I guess. So I like Ipsy 
sometimes they can be repetitive but i kind of go in there and switch out what i want to be sent but i really did like getting mascara because those little things i don't really like to just buy mascara because i don't i don't wear it too much but when i need it i need it um and i like just getting random new things like things like this i would never pick this up in the store and it may turn out that i may actually really really like it that's happened a lot with me before with ipsy it'll they'll send me random obviously items and brands that i've never even heard of and end up really liking the product so this is me l honey infused sugar scrub this seems like this is going to be really nice love a good scrub this is the toe two vegan okay this is the two vegan red remedy toner color food series never heard of that but i guess we'll try that out and then this is a yc collection maybe a bronzer or something highlighter okay i'm not really sure if i'm gonna like that and this is probably a freaking eyeshadow palette that i really honestly don't care for i need to tell them to stop sending me eyeshadow okay no this is bronzing powder because i don't wear eyeshadow i'll throw on a cute little brown on the lid and that's about it last little thing that i want to show you guys is my bath and body works haul i went yesterday they had single wick candles for five dollars and all the soap was 350 as well as they had a heck of a lot of items that were 50 percent off in store soap i got was whipped honey and vanilla at the honey wildflower and i also got champagne toast because this is an odie but a goodie and also because the bottle was pink i like to keep champagne toast in my guest bathroom because all of my things in there are pink and then the, the bottle just looks cute with it being in there and then i got a body cream this was on sale for like eight dollars no it kind of smells like end of summer vibes if you will the three candles that i got on the sale they honestly didn't have a lot of candles um especially the seasonal candles a lot of them did not smell good so i just went ahead and got some candles that i'm just already used to so i got champagne toast obviously this one goes in my guest room and then i got cactus blossom odie but a goodie everybody i feel like if you don't like cactus blossom you can't be free <laughs> cactus blossom though you know when you smell something and then it takes you back to wherever you first smelled that smell or like i don't know music and um scents just take me back to certain times in my life and cactus blossom definitely takes me back to when i was in college living with my best friend in our townhouse this was literally the only candle wax melts everything that i had in college when we live together and smelling this just makes me think of that time and then i got a strawberry melon i've never had this before but it smells absolutely amazing <laughs> hey y'all just got back home from sonic it's hot as hell so my wax did not hurt as bad today um as you can see it's hot as hell my air is still loud been burning up so baby been taking me mostly everywhere you know and his truck and stuff like that but come next week or week after i'm about to just go and let them take my car for however many days and figure it out because this is too damn hot outside um and it's so many wrecks going on outside it is traffic police out every two to three miles um posted up maybe it was posted up on the um highway like they got everybody going slow i done seen five emma lamps it's just too much going on today it's a um it's a game i think i think they said arkansas and you, somebody i don't know i really don't even care but that has everybody in a frenzy with traffic everywhere so i want the sonic um i've kind of been craving sonic so so badly lately for like the past week week and a half so got me a cherry lime made that's my favorite drink from sonic and then i always honestly I only get mozzarella sticks from Sonic. I've had probably a Sonic like cheeseburger or something, probably like five times in my entire life. And then I used to always eat the tater tots. I don't like their fries. And the chicken strips I've had maybe once or twice. And then I had the um, their like boneless chicken wings when those first came out. Oh. I hope I got it. That I was even getting this freaking item. <laughs> this is a collect. This is literally. A, I don't know if I'm say or not. This is a suitcase, and <laughs> it came just in time because I've got another trip coming up. Um, but I'm gonna initially give this to my boyfriend probably if I don't fall in love with it because he does need a suitcase. Um, and yeah, I forgot all about this. I thought I was gonna get something else delivered today. Okay then. 
Um, I usually like to write down my collaborations. Um, if y'all watch my vlog to when I got my new Stanley cup and that bog bag, um, my cousin Diana also got me that monthly planner. So now at the end of it, it has like a notes page and at the end of the month, like at the end of the month, it's a notes page. And on that notes page, I post all the collabs that I'm getting like for that month or that need to be done or whatever. Like it's really, really good for organization. And I need to update it because I forgot all about this even coming in and that they, you know, about to pay me for this. And I got, now that this came, I just remembered a few other ones that's not even on that list, girl. So yeah, we need to um, update that. But I did get a new um, leash for Prince. I got it in blue. All his stuff is blue, if you didn't know. Um, I stopped buying retractables, mostly because I did get the one that go around your waist. And it's just a little bit easier having him, you know, me just walk. Especially when I go take out the trash, I don't have to hold anything. So that is really good for that. But just the every day, I kind of still miss using an actual like leash to hold him. Um, and this is a retractable one in Prince. He loved to be outside. He loved to explore. So that boy be going into everything. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not trying to go, you know, all up in the grass and stuff. So I got a new leash for him. Um, I got a ton more packages and stuff, but we're just going to probably have to so i think i want to start a new vlog as well tomorrow that kind of focus more so on all of the other stuff that i'm getting um and then maybe just keep this as like a daily type of vlog i do really want to be more consistent so i'm going to try to maybe do maybe vlogging if not one specific day then i'll be vlogging for like two days at a time and then to be able to post instead of vlogging weekly because the weekly vlogs i love i know y'all love as well but I think it is better to be able to hold up is that the girl that i saw at the dang pet store girl so i took prince oh that's that's what i wanted to put in here i took prince to the doctors yesterday i added some clips now okay. so i took him to banfield and got his plan started back up. And there was this black girl with this cute little brown dog. And literally, I think this is her. <laughs> I mean, it looks just like her and the dog. That's crazy. Um, I may try to go down there and see if I can like catch her, but that looks just like her dog, Bella. That's crazy if it is. Um, but yeah, I wanna try to vlog like a day or two at a time and then post that to be able to have a lot of content for you guys because the weekly vlogs, especially if I have a sponsorship inside of that weekly vlog, it just, it honestly sets me back. That's why some of y'all, when y'all be like, oh, she's back, she's back. I haven't been taking a break. It's just the vlogs that I have for you guys have sponsored content and baby, I don't post unless I get paid. So I'm waiting to get paid and I can't post for y'all, which is super annoying. I've been trying to do better at that. So that's why I am gonna try to make it attempt to do daily vlogging or two day, you know, shorter type of vlogs not shorter vlogs but you know me not vlogging just for a full freaking week so yeah i really think this is her i'm about to try to go down there and see if she walks over here close to my building <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and walk him try out this new um leash hey y'all it's friday august 30th um 8 23 in the evening night whatever um today was a very very long friday it feels like saturday i keep thinking it's saturday but it's not um had a funeral to go to today um my aunt's husband one of my aunt's husband had passed did that so i was in my hometown cersei literally dang there all day um been doing a whole lot um we just got back i've been running a little bit of errands outside of work with me things like that <sighs> I'm tired girl so right now it is 823 I just got a hello fresh delivery um delivered at about 5 30 today so y'all are actually sitting on the box right now so I do want to unbox it to get that food in the refrigerator it said it's good for at least like 24 hours after it's delivered so I kind of forgot what I got and I do need to um unbox this so we're gonna unbox this and see what I got and then I don't know, I wanted to do something else. I wanted to kind of straighten up my living room and my kitchen because it is a mess. I haven't been able to really just do anything. So I do work tomorrow, but I am off Sunday. I believe I'm off Sunday work, Monday, Tuesday, off 
Wednesday or Thursday, Friday. I don't know, girl, something like that. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox this and see what I got. I am a little bit hungry. I had rallies at about maybe like three hours ago. They had bought me that when we got back from Cersei, but I am hungry. So I do have one meal left over from my Hello Fresh box from last week. And it's just literally a cheeseburger and like homemade potato wedges. So I'm gonna go ahead and whip that up tonight because that should be fairly easy. Oh, cause I know I don't wanna break any of these new meals open. Um, next week, I think I do work four days. So I am gonna try to meal prep. I may cook two of these in one day to try to meal prep. Ooh, girl. I got creamy Dijon dill chicken with roasted potatoes and green beans in this one. And then I got creamy Tuscan spaghetti with meatballs, scallion, and lemon. And then <laughs> I got sweet and smoky pork filet with chili roasted carrots, mashed potatoes, and cherry sauce. Those look good. Tuscan. I never had Tuscan spaghetti. I hope that's going to be real good. Girl, I'm excited. I'm going to be eating good next week. Um, so yeah, this is about, I've been paying like, I think I told y'all about like 40, $50 for my first few boxes. And then it'll be $70 every week after that. Um, I think it's a pretty good deal because I honestly haven't been buying as much groceries besides this. The only thing that I've had gotten is a uh, breakfast food. So my breakfast food isn't over like what 15 20 dollars if i just buy like a whole bunch of breakfast stuff but i normally just eat bacon sausage um toast things like that so my um stuff ain't ever so high this is creamy tuscan spaghetti cheesy ravioli with tomato sauce oh that must be my appetizer or my free meal yeah so i got cheesy ravioli with tomato sauce as well Y'all know I get a free breakfast or like appetizer with every box. I can't wait to cook these. I'll probably cook one Sunday so that way I can eat Sunday and then have it meal prepped for Monday. And these are the raviolis. I will say I got the shipment to be able to um, serve two people, which it does serve two people. Like when they give me chicken breast or the pork chops and stuff like that, they'll give me two, but they're really tiny. So in reality, if you eat a lot, I feel like that's really only one serving. So me and my boyfriend have been splitting up some of it, but like this right here, I could eat all this ravioli myself. So like this is like one serving. So I will say that about HelloFresh. So if you are trying to feed like you and your man like every day and stuff like that, you know, me and eat a lot, I would say definitely get the one for four people so that way you can definitely have some leftovers or y'all are actually like full full so because this little two person is definitely really just enough <laughs> for me most of the time yeah. all right so we're about to make firehouse cheeseburgers with fried onions garlic potato wedges and creamy ranch sauce I don't like ranch, so we're not even gonna dibble and dabble into that. Um, and I really don't care for the onions either, but for the sake of the burger and the meal, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. So we're gonna unbox all of our stuff. And with two little buns. If I don't like those, I do have my own bun. I like to lay everything out in the order that it is on here so it'll be easier. So it's telling me to put, cut the potatoes up and make them into little wedges and put them in the, um, oven i'm not really going to do that i like to use the air fryer because i know i make roasted potatoes all the time in the air fryer i put it on roasted on my little settings over here and then after that just put roast and i usually cook them for 24 minutes at 3 30 they come out perfect every time and i cook them a little bit longer simply because i got this little like tray thing in there so it takes a little bit longer to kind of cook them but yeah i got air fry roast reheat and bake on mine i got the instant vortex absolutely love this i've had that for years and just recently started using it like a year or two ago so i'm gonna go ahead and cut these potatoes and stuff up and i'm gonna put them in the air fryer because it says to put my stove preheated to 450. i don't know about y'all and y'all stove but my stove baby especially this one in this apartment this specific apartment every time i cook and i need to put it over 400 degrees 
it starts smoking so bad in here my alarm goes off it smoke everywhere like it's horrible even the little vent thing on top of the microwave don't even help so i'm not interested in doing that anymore um if anything i would just set it to 400 because i know the oven cooks perfectly fine at 400. if i go above 400 it's going to start smoking up in here and it's going to get crazy <laughs> so i'm just going to use it for the air fryer because i know that's what works and we're going to get to it 